Welcome to Virtualize Everything. Today, I wanted to show you a quick little tutorial on how I got my SMB share or my Samba share inside of my AirSonic LXC container so I could use the music that's stored on my NAS inside of AirSonic. Now, for this tutorial, I did use Proxmox's web interface mostly. Unfortunately, we did have to do some command line work because we're yet to have this, the tools made available to us to do all of this inside of the web interface. The limitations of using the web interface for some of this is that we have extra folders created on our NAS by Proxmox for one of these steps that we can't remove. With that, with that disclaimer, let's go ahead, get started, and let me show you how I did this. So the first thing I did is go up here to data center and I selected storage. Then as you can see here, I've already brought in my true NAS share, but if I hadn't already had my true NAS share here, like you most likely don't, I would click add and then I would select SMB, CIFS or NFS, depending on how my shares are set up from my NAS. I used SMB and then I entered the name that I would like to call the stored drive. In my case, it was true NAS. Then I entered the IP address of my server. And in my case, this was 192.168.345. The user credentials. And once all that's entered, Proxmox will actually go ahead and connect to your NAS in some forum or another. And this shared box, which is red right now, when you click on it, will show the path for you. My path is going to be NAS, so I can go ahead and click on that. Now over here on this other side, we can leave most of this alone. We could do a subdirectory if we wanted to pinpoint our folder of music or something, but we don't need to. We can just bring it in as the NAS. But like I said before, we have to select one of these options and selecting one of these options is going to create some extra files on your NAS. Now, my suggested would be this VZ dump backup file, as quite often I like to backup stuff on my Proxmox server to my NAS or ISO images and container, and container templates, as a lot of times I like to have that stuff stored on my NAS and not on my Proxmox server, so I can use it on other projects. This is entirely up to you which one of these you select, but as you can see, when we don't select any, we're unable to add it. So we have to select one to be able to add this. Now I'm not gonna fully add this today as it's already on this, but if I did want to add it, I'd just press add here and it would load in and show up as it's shown up here. We're going to need to pay attention to this path right here and any other file structure inside of our NAS that we may have had set up to target our music file. Now that that's been added, we do have to go ahead, make sure our container is shut down. I won't be shutting mine down today as I've already done this step, but your container should be shut off. And then we can go to our Proxmox server and open a shell. With the shell open, we can issue a command that's called PCT or Proxmox container. And then we need to enter set the container ID number of our container that's set up. And then you can see mine it was 109, so I entered 109. Then the mount point, which is dash MP. And if we're doing this for the first time, it'll be zero, and then it'll be one, and then two, and so on and so forth. The path to where your music is stored on your NAS, which you can see starts out as the path that we actually mounted this to inside of data center. So it's MNT PVE true NAS. And we start out as MNT PVE true NAS. And then my music stored at music and then music new because I had to do some transcoding and stuff and I chose to do it off site. So I have an extra folder I created in there. And then we enter a comma and then 
the path of where we're going to store this on our particular AirSonic server. And if you watched my previous AirSonic video, which I hope you have, you will know that you have to, when you set up this container, mount it to media because that's your removable media that Snap allows permissions to inside of the LXC. So it's at Media Music, which is the same exact file path we used for our previous tutorial, where I showed you how to use either SCP or your own Samba server inside of the container to move your music. So this is another option. Now, what I do want to mention here at this point, this NAS information, although it can be written to from Proxmox, it's coming into Proxmox as root. The user separation inside of Proxmox means that our LXC container will not be able to write to it. Even though you're working as root inside of your LX container, it won't actually write to your AirSonic container. So your this music on your NAS will have to be managed from your NAS's interface and not from your container. Now inside of AirSonic, that isn't the biggest issue because AirSonic doesn't have a way of uploading, but in other scenarios, in other software, if you chose to use this or deploy this, that could be a problem. So here, loading into our AirSonic container, we can see that I have all my same music that I brought in prior, but it's now stored on my NAS due to that mount point that we set up. And if we head to settings, you can see that we do have two particular folders set up here. I didn't go ahead and disable the VAR music, but here's the media music set up right there that we made our mount point from. And of course, as we spoke, and as you can see, folder not found because this VAR is not in media, so it doesn't automatically connect due to the removable media protection permission that we set inside of Snap. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and walk through on how I got my NASA's music over to AirSonic inside of Proxmox using as much of the graphical user interface as I could. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it all inside of the graphical user interface. You can create mount points inside of the graphical user interface, but at this time, if we tried to create a mount point inside of our graphical user interface by going add and mount point, and then selecting a drive, which you can see, I don't even have my drive set up, my TrueNAS set up for storage. It's only storage and local. I can only choose one of them and then I have to give it a size. And that's because Proxmox's user interface or graphical user interface doesn't give us the option to mount outside of a QCOW2 disk image. So when we mount this way, it creates a disk image to store our stuff into. This works a lot better for backup. You won't be backing up your music when you back up your container, but it doesn't work very well if you want to just store everything and manage all of your data in one place and then pass it into a container for use in this scenario. I hope you enjoyed this explanation and tutorial and that you have a good night and you're able to use your NAS now. Have a good night.